Let's go over it real quick. Let's take a look at the three chart setup. To make it easy, what you can do is this. These three charts really set each other up. Let's go to today's action real quick. All right. What you want to do is pay attention to these three charts on any given market. And it provides nice setups. We got a nice little short going on crude right now. How you want to do it is I have a trend chart. This is my trend chart. It's going to tell you the overall bias of the market. Is the market trending up, trending down, or is it sideways for chop? That's my nine Simrinko. We have the template made up for you guys already for your own computers. These three charts are automatically already made up. This is my trend chart. Are we trending up? Are we trending down? Are we in chop? So first thing you got to ask yourself. Well, let's take a look. The weakest part of the market is going to be when you blow all three of these MAs. Moving averages are worthless. They're not great for support and resistance. They're not great for crossovers, but they're great for trend direction. My Rinko bar is beautiful because it's got a trend filter built into it, so you can really catch some nice trends with entry off the five and the three Sim Rinko arrows. How do we do it? The best way to do it is you got three MAs. If prices right now is below all three MAs, you can see price below all three MAs. The open versus close, the body of the candle. Look how the body of the candle is below the smaller MA, so they're below all three. Once you start seeing separation like this, away from my smaller MA because there's a trend filter built into my Rinko bar, you're in a hard trend. You're in a very hard trend. So you can take short setups off of the five, and we just had one on the three that fired. I'll show you how to do that on each one with the overall trend of the market. Now what happens is if the market's in a downtrend, if you see a if they're below, if they're below all three MAs, if you see a green bar, that means those are counter trend <coughs> counter trend traders, sorry, coming in the market. And these are two big spots in the market to go short. Green bar, green bar, red bar, continuation. Green bar, green bar, counter trend traders, continuation. So in the larger time frame, those are hot spots to go short here and here to look for a five sim trade. This actually high of 20 was my five sim Rinko trade right here. So the best way to do it, I got two charts over here then. I got my five sim Rinko and my three. These are entry charts. These arrows show me retracements. When we first came out with J signal with Fibonacci dots, it showed you areas on a retracement where the market should continue based upon Fibonacci analysis. These arrows are the same way. They're the sweet spot in the market. So on the five sim, I've got symmetry dots. I don't have them on the nine sim. I don't have them on the three sim. I only have them on the five sim. This tells me spots in the market where the market should reverse and find me a spot to go short in the market. And that's what happened on the five Simrinko here. We've had a short opportunity. Two levels this morning, up here and right here. Based upon arrow entry with the overall symmetry, symmetry dots. All right. So if that's how you trade the five, you want to see retracement to symmetry, then the arrow fires. How would you ever trade the three over here? The three is a smaller time frame. Okay, this is my five. Remember, we got a nine for a trend chart. This is my five Simrinko. Five It's an intermediate chart. We want to use it with symmetry dots. If we're in a downtrend, look for the dots. I mean, look for price to come within two ticks of my symmetry dots with the arrow, negative market delta, and we got a nice trade right there off the five sim. But how do we trade the three sim then? The three sim is a very small time frame. So what we got to do is, is this, is I like to see actually the symmetry dots on the other side of the market break. I like to see it break, and then I get into the three, this. I like to see it close below. Why? Because this is a small time frame, the three over here. It's a small time frame. I want to see it break support off the five sim. So not only do you use the symmetry dots for resistance in a downtrend, the red dots, use the blue dots to break to get into your three. And you'll see tons and tons and tons of trades like this where you got 
the speed of the market with you because they're catching the rolling position traders. So the three sim, you're, if you time this the correct way by letting the five sim break and jumping into the three, you're going to get yourself into a nice speed market. That's what's happened here. What happened is we broke. If you look at it, we broke here at 95. 95, it closed below. Then it came up and retested 95, went down, retested 90, went down, retested 85, and now we're down to the next symmetry dots for support. So if I look at the three, my entry right there is a five. Let's take a look at the three then. The three entry is 95, we broke support. Right there, we closed below it. So if I broke support at 95, there's your 95 break. There's my first arrow entry. A lot of times it will happen right here, right on the break retest, that level right there, that crisscross. It broke. There's your speed of the market. Why? Because my symmetry dots broke. Look at my 9 sim. My 9 sim has a trend filter built into it. That's the beauty of it. Look at the distance between the open versus close, the high and low of the bar, the block of the bar, the block of the candle, I'm sorry and the distance from the small MA. We're in a hard downtrend. This is where you can make some ticks. This is how you, you can get on your ticks and you know that you're in the weakest part of the market. This is a type of market you really want to be on because you have separation, right? You have separation from the smaller MA and you're below all three. This is how you get a three sim trade. So the three sim trades are going to be here when the nine sim has separation. That's your three sim trades right there. Your five sim trades are going to be different. They're actually going to be the retracement. When the nine starts retracing, your nine sim trades are going to be here. Excuse me. Your nine sim trades are going to be here because they're in a retracement mode, these two here, after counter trend traders come on the long-term chart. So what I do is I like to do this. If I see we're in a downtrend and I see a green bar reversal, in a downtrend, I know to start watching the five and symmetry. If I get separation and I break through symmetry, I'm watching my three. And that's all you got to do. Make it that simple. Five, if you see the nine counter trend trading, opposite color, start watching your five. If you break through the symmetry and she's rolling hard, watch your three. That's all you got to do. Make it simple. Now, that you can just trade off these three charts on any given market. I don't care if it's Forex. I don't care if it's any futures. I don't care if it's stocks. You can trade the OEX options. You can trade the spiders, the diamonds. It doesn't matter. It's the same exact setup. These all work together the same way, these, these three charts. If you want to combine market profile in, you can. Market profile actually gave us this with the arrow. There's my control point retest. And this with the arrow, here's my LVA retest. Market profile provides us both confluence with the arrows. That's how we use market profile. Once you understand market profile, you will understand that it works great with the system. But do you need to understand market profile to execute these three charts? Absolutely not. You just got to get the trend right off of a nine, execute on the five and the three. But look at that three sim trade. It's a nice little trade setup. And then the five sim was because the counter trend traders got in, stopped at symmetry, and there she goes. When you don't want to trade the arrows is this. Let's look at gold real quick. Look at the difference in gold and crude. In crude, we've been trending down all morning. You have not had one buy set up all morning on crude since midnight. So for the first eight hours and 45 minutes of trading today, if you took any buys on crude, you are trading against the overall trend of the market and you are going to probably lose against your trading opponent that is smarter than you when it comes to trend. You cannot do that. You cannot go against the overall trend of the market. So crude is down. So we trade off the five and the three and I'll show you how to do that. I showed you just how to do that. But let's say you log in and you're looking at a market and you see this. Look at the MAs on gold right now. Is that a trend market? Absolutely not. That is flat. That is sideways. We're in a range or chop market. 
you need to not trade that market with the arrows. You got to stand aside. You don't trade the five. You don't trade the three. You only trade market profile if you're going to trade. If you're going to trade this type of market, the only entry you can do is market profile with market delta. Trade the outer edges. Don't trade the control point, the blue market profile. Only trade the outer edges. Sell the high, buy the low. That's all you can do. And if you don't want to do that, you cannot trade the arrows. What I like to do is I like to stack several different markets just with my 9 sim like this beside each other. So then I can know the temperature of that market as soon as I log in on any given market. So if you have, let's say, 10 different markets up, if you trade the NAS, look at NASDAQ futures, S&P, Russell 2000, minis, Russell 2000, you know, if you trade different markets, the DAX, what have you, it takes a nano of a second when you first log in to see what type of market you're in. If you log in and crude this morning, you better be shorting. If you logged in gold, you better not be buying or selling at all unless you're using market profile. And that is how I like to do it. I can qualify a trend market immediately with my 9 cent. So what I would like you to do if you trade other markets is get another separate monitor and just put 9 sim charts on it without 5 and 3 sim charts. You don't need them. Because if the 9's not in a trend mode, you don't want to trade the arrows. But if you're trending, look at that. Look at the separation we get. This is a trend market. That three sims, an easy lay down trade. Why? Because it broke through symmetry. And that to me is where you want to enter the market. Okay? That's the best way to trade the system. That's how we want to enter. We keep our stops two ticks above the swing high or swing low. We do not want to adjust our stops. Because if this three sim is going to be wrong, then I do not want to have a large stop. Two ticks above these arrows. All stops are two ticks above the swing high or swing low. So if I'm trading off the five and you entered off this arrow, that's your, that's your stop. You always got to keep your stops in. Always got to keep your stops. If you trade off the three, these last two arrows, very simple. Your stops are going to be two ticks above the swing high. Easy to see. It's always two ticks. You don't need more than two ticks on any market. There is your stop. All right, where do you take your profits? The best place to take profits on any given chart, I like using my three sim symmetry dots. I just don't have them on there because it, it's clutter some, some for you traders. But you should always sell the first or cover your first position on your first push. And then go to the second set of symmetry dots on trend markets. You're trying to get to three, though. You're trying to get to the third set of symmetry dots on trend. So if you shorted the five sim, right here is one symmetry dots. Here's two. You should take 75% of your position off. If you shorted the market on crude and your fill on that would have been 68.10, 68.10 would have been your fill, and you're down here to 67.85, or 60, 65, I'm sorry, so you're up $400 per one contract, just over $400 per one contract. You should scale 75% of your position because you're at the second set of symmetry dots with trend. You try to get to the third set, that's typically 70, 75 ticks. And that's what you want to do. That's how you trade the system. Let the nine set it up. The five and three is your entry.